Hello, I am David W. Parker, and this is episode 4 in the Webpack series. Today we'll be looking at multiple entry points in your Webpack configuration. So, we have our Webpack configuration here, and rather than just having a single entry point, we now have two files that are acting as entry points, and each of them can be independent of each other, as we'll see. And we're going to output the name of the file and the .bundle. Yes, and not by file, but like not entry, but the key here. So we'll have an a.bundle.js and a b.bundle.js. So when we run Webpack here, you could see here's what happens. We have when Webpack runs, we have a.bundle.js, which is bundled with this, and b.bundle.js, which is bundled here. It gives each of them a chunk and a chunk name. And that's kind of it for this. So pretty nice. Um, Here's what they look like. So this is just the same as before, um, basically. And then what you can see here, we're now including each of these bundles independently of each other. So when we look in Chrome, we could see that one works from content, and the other works from F3 zero. So that's it for this episode. Um, if you like what you saw today, please subscribe. And thank you. We'll see you next time.